Okay, so this is my my test necessarily. A uh, guy suggested that I make moto vlogs, and I was like, "Yeah, I'll try it," but I've been having issues with audio quality, so I think I've got audio fixed. Um, I went and did a nice little run yesterday, and the audio was great, but it wasn't anything like that I would want to post. So then I put some stuff together, went out again, and the audio was crap. So I think I've got it fixed. But anyway, um, I'm on the single carbed 440 today. Um, and I'm just given, like I made this carbon, not carbon fiber, uh, what is it, fiberglass? M made the seat, put a little pad on it. Um, and I'm just really curious about how it's gonna perform. So, the, the pad on it, it's so low right now, it makes the bike feel a little funny. Um, so it's gonna take me a little bit, a while to get used to it. But anyway, uh, let's see. A lot of stuff has changed on this bike um, since the last video I made. The actual engine is a completely different engine. Um, I blew up the engine that was in this bike. Uh, the oil light wasn't working. I, the bike was burning some oil because the valve stems were shot, and, or the valve seals were shot. So I burned the oil up and then the bearing rods blew out. <clears throat> so I had the 440 from the other engine, or other bike. That engine had to be rebuilt because the same thing actually happened to it. So I, I, I put one together and um, this bike has a, the engine has been completely redone. New gaskets all around, uh, and let's see, the crankcase was split, everything was cleaned out, a, I put a new crank in there with, well, a new to me crank in rods, uh, let's see, what else happened, that's really, that's really it, um, I wish I remembered who I got everything from like the eBay seller, so it's actually a pretty cool story, I mean, sort of. Um, I purchased, you know, I found a crank on eBay, and I purchased it for really cheap, and I was, like, pumped about it, because I thought it was going to be kind of an expensive fix. Uh, I bought a crank, and I bought some, some rods, and I was going to, you know, put them together and everything. But, you know, a couple weeks went by and I didn't even have a tracking number. Finally, like, the dude somehow got my phone number. I don't know if he, like, got it through PayPal or what. But he, he called me, actually, and apologized that something had happened. And the a crank that I bought, he wasn't going to mail me because it was, like, something had happened to it or UPS had done something. I don't remember what the exact details were. He said he had one that was better and it was in the mail and it'd be, you know, at my house shortly. And then he refunded me my shipping that I had paid. So I was pretty stoked. Um, about a week later, I get this crank in the mail. And the original one I had ordered was just the crank. It didn't have the, uh, like the generator thing or the flywheel, whatever it's called. It didn't have that on there. It didn't have any rods or anything. So I get this box in the mail, open it up, and it's a complete crank. It's got the generator on it, it's got the rods on it. Um, so all I had to do was I checked the, the torque specs on the rods and uh, put it in the bike, put the pistons on, and put the bike back together eventually. And it was really, really awesome. Um, Dude, definitely, like, because I understand shit happens, 
uh, you know, with shipping and stuff, but the dude, like, took full, full responsibility and did everything he needed to do, so I was pretty pumped. Um, I finally got the engine put back together. I, like I said earlier, it was the first engine I'd ever built, rebuilt, or anything. I tried to fire it up, nothing would happen. I kept doing that for a while, and then finally, I got it to fire, but it was just backfiring from the car. Anytime I tried to give it any gas, it died. It was, I was checked everything. Uh, I put the cam in backwards. Was my timing correct? I was racking my brain trying to figure out what I did wrong. put the bike in the garage for about two weeks and during that two weeks uh, you know I thought about it for a while uh, I took a big hit to my like my mechanic confidence um, I'm not a mechanic by any means I just know how to use YouTube and Google <laughs> but you know after a while I realized I was like you know what I never checked the, the valve specs and I was like having out of spec valves that could be that could be why I you know what was causing the backfire from the carb and stuff so once I had pulled the bike out of the garage uh, checked all the the rocker box like the torque specs and adjusted the valves which were super out of adjustment like ridiculous I'm, I'm, I'm really lucky I didn't, they were so out, they were so tight, I'm lucky I didn't um, bend the valve stems or something. Anyway, it took me a little bit of, uh, a little bit of coaxing and then the bike fired up and I'm at, I'm, I'm at like mile, like 500 or so since the rebuild, so getting close to the first oil change and I'm, I'm just really really impressed these these little 440s they're they're simple to work on and when you get everything put together right they're just a blast to ride um, they're, they're really fun so uh, I do plan on making videos of the I do plan on making videos of the rebuild on the other engine because that's going to be another one. A complete teardown of everything, uh, splitting the cases, getting getting it all nice and pretty on the inside. So the, I mean, let me know if that's the kind of stuff you guys want to see on here.